I've noticed over the past few years, everyone's really empty cup, freaking tired. In fact, you can't even say tired. You need to say it like a southerner, tired. Try it, tired, tired. Too tired to even pronounce it correctly, tired. If you feel tired, I'm gonna show you how you could refill your cup and not be tired anymore on a regular basis. You excited? I might be an artist, but this time I'm putting on my doctor hat. Ready? Okay. I like to demonstrate with nothing more than paintbrushes. Okay. Oh, is she gonna do a magic trick? No. We are tired because on Mondays, we get up, we have the same cup of coffee, put the clothes on the exact same leg first, arm first, we use the same hand to brush our teeth, we've always done, and we go about our day, have the same sort of meal we've always made, and all of a sudden it's Tuesday, and we're like, I don't remember what happened on Monday. On Tuesday, you do the exact same thing. Can I guess how you sign your emails? Kind regards. On Wednesday, oh my goodness, I just took the same route to work. I got the same microwave meal or same sort of vegetables at the supermarket. I had the same argument with my kids that I had last Wednesday. Oh, oh my God, it's Thursday. What happened on Monday? I don't remember. Thursday comes along. Um, yeah, but much of, do you see a trend happening here? Now, I don't know about you, but if you walk into a hospital and there's a screen in a bedroom attached to a human and there is a line on that screen, is it a good sign or a bad sign? It means game over, right? And yet, what does our life look like? We are dragging our coffins through life and we wonder why we're tired. We wonder why we're cranky with our partner, coworkers, kids, the dog, even the dog gets the boot because we're all cranky and tired, tired. <laughs> so tired. But if you want to have that beep in your day, you want to get some spice, some energy, besides adding some cayenne pepper to your meals, which apparently is really good for the blood flow, I suggest you change it up. You throw in some meals you haven't tried before. I handed my kid the other day some duck, and I didn't tell him what it was, because he had never tried it before. He has autism, and um, three of my stepkids have autism, and so you just try to get them to branch out and do things because it's scary. Change is scary, extra scary. So you try to do it in slow bits and bobs. He didn't really like it, but he tried it. Boop. Conference, Meals on Wheels, Sarah on stage. Boop, boop, boop. That was fun. You go skydiving. Oh my God, that's scary. You drive into the parking lot here, go down three levels. Anyone else do that? That is scary. That is like heart pumping. You think you're going to scratch every side of your vehicle. Scary. That was a tight thing. And I talked to the guy parking the cars. He's like, no, it's a big space. I'm like, wow, you've perspective. Yeah, great. <laughs> You do new things. You take a different route to work. I've had people, after talks, they, they'll send me selfies through Instagram, encourage you to do the same. One guy sent me a selfie where he was running through Central Park, not Central Park, Centennial Park, sorry, suddenly felt like I was in New York there. Centennial Park, and he goes, Sarah, I jogged around it in a different way. <laughs> I did something different. I saw trees I hadn't seen, I saw houses I hadn't seen, and it like, revolutionized his day because he took a different route around the park. That's how you fill your cup up. It doesn't have to be the big holiday that you've been planning for. It can be the little things. It's often the little things. Try putting your clothes on a different leg first and do not sue me when you fall over. It is hard. I try to practice what I preach. and I tried to put my jacket on the other day with my right arm instead of my left arm first. Here I am, I speak on this regularly and I'm in the parking lot. It was hard, but I was present with the moment. Why do car accidents happen within a five kilometer radius of homes at, at most? Because our brain switches off. Let's switch on, okay? How about you just stand up for one second if you're over 35? Oh. At the age of 35 and above, apparently 98% of us or 95% of our life is in the subconscious according to neuroscientists. Okay, let's see if, it, oh, stay, stay standing. <laughs> I'm just gonna see how many of you have like 
done any of these ideas just to see how many people in the room are like trying to be actively engaged with their life. Okay, sit down if you have not rearranged the furniture in your home in the past five years. Sit down if you haven't tried a new food in the past two months. Sit down if you have not been to a play or a musical thing or a movie in the past four weeks. Sit down if you have brushed your teeth with the same hand your whole life and you don't really change it up a bit. <laughs> oh, how was that? Oh, ooh, round of applause. Look at them. Okay, so you see these people, give them away, give them away. These are the people you want to have a chat with during lunch because their, their brains are engaged. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Beautiful. That's how you fill your cup.